Hi everyone, it's Jean from Inkyall Studio. Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, I have a project today. I am on the design team for Caroline's Craft Tree. And this is the project that I have chosen for this time. And I'm using uh, her digitals, the Boulevards of Paris. They are, uh, re you know, they're a reprint from um, uh, etchings that were done in the 1870s. Uh, very charming, really emphasizes the the beauty of Paris, the the buildings and um, uh, the boulevards. It comes in either um, foreign page, which makes really nice journaling cards or tags, or two to a page, and then you get like a larger image like this. I'm also using uh, her uh, vintage wallpaper kit, which is love. She's got actually she's got two of them, and I'm really having. A good time with those they come out very very nice if you can see how pretty they are They're very lovely anyway so this is a is this is a historical um, vintage Paris uh, journal the uh, cover is chipboard but the spine is a little different the spine is a little softer it's not soft but it is it's very flexible and it is uh, made of two layers of this duck cloth and or canvas and it has uh, one sheet of craft paper and uh, some quilt batting in the middle of it the stitching here is not from the signatures people that do that i'm telling you have a special ability <laughs> Uh, it is just embroidery, and I just put some beads on here. I felt like it just needed a little something there in the back, and it's a tea-stained um, duck cloth here. And it's uh, held together, or is closed, by a uh, seam binding tie. And then I have tried to mimic like an, an aged enamel or china type of frame. If you can kind of see, it looks really aged. And uh, so we'll get started on the inside of it. There's a pocket right here for you to slip something in if you would like. And so you can see here the two layers of the duck cloth because uh, I have put in a hidden spine uh, on the inside. So what this flexible spine does is it helps the journal to lay flat, you know, open flat a lot easier than if it was put into a... Uh, a hard spine and uh, here's some of that wallpaper I've kind of like put that throughout here I try to uh, the, all the pictures have a story to me they just naturally do and this has all these flowers here so when I saw that I said I need to do this particular little journaling space here fold paper fold and you just can open it up and you can write there on the inside and when it's closed up, it looks like one of these little um, wrapped up uh, flowers here, bouquets. And we'll go through here. And I got lots of empty space for writing. I wanted to make sure you had places to put your memorabilia or your writing in here. Here's a lovely altar tag, a little bit of cloth, a little vintage button. And I try to use French print when I could. I think most of it is in French. Some of it may not be. Really pretty prints. I just love them. So here's a little cafe. And so at a cafe, we find a menu. So I put in a little menu. It's in French. And um, I thought the, the graphic here on this paper almost looked like the legs of a table. <laughs> A little tablecloth on top. I don't know. Yes, it's my imagination as I go through here. Here's the a vintage music sheet. Here is a reproduction of a vintage um, French vintage receipt in a glassine bag that's been tea stained. And this is an omnibus. This is where you would go to get onto a carriage horse and carriage and um, take a tour of the city perhaps so what would a good tourist want they would want a map of the city so that's what I have in here and you have your journal space on the back and there's a lady she's ready to go for a ride some tickets to get your seat with 
And this particular fold also folds out so that you can do uh, journaling inside this sheet here. So like I say, there's lots of places to write inside this um, journal. And here's some more wallpaper there. And this is another um, theater. And uh, here's a receipt for some perfume you might want to wear to the theater. I also use Mrs. Cog's um, digitals of, you know, scenes from different paintings. And I thought that this really mimicked the doorways inside uh, this building here. There's an old journaling card. Here's an altered journal card. I put a little bit of lace in her hat. Make her fancy. Some little franks. And um, I have a vintage uh, French book, Learning the Language uh, course. And uh, I put that in here. Here is a tavern. And I really thought the Ferris wheel was good. You have a few drinks. You feel like you're on the Ferris wheel, right? <laughs> I know. I know these stories are make up. So here is a uh, menu or a list of wines that could be offered there with a receipt of some wines that were purchased. And I've done some stenciling here with some uh, ink little belly band. This is uh, outside of a um, sort of like a soup kitchen or it's like a refuge um, place and I thought well this was appropriate uh, painting to put in for that so people out there eating or getting some bowls of soup. And here's a little bakery. Um, another place to journal. A little booklet inside here with some lace, another little scene there. I thought this looked like a little French chateau, these little tags. There's plenty of spaces between the signatures so you have lots of room to put your memorabilia in here. Here is um, not to not Notre Dame. I don't know how to say French words, sadly. But anyway, that's a little scene or a painting from that. And then this here opens up like an envelope so that you can do journaling on the inside of there with some lace. And I, the colors are pastel, but they're, they're lovely. They're pinks and blues and yellows. Here is another little pullout for some more journaling. Chocolates. Slips over the little band like so. And here's some more. This is outside the police station actually. I thought, well, that looks like it could be hanging up inside the police station. And this is... um something from the police station actually it's a reproduction a little journaling card I slipped in there here is the Eiffel Tower and a couple of postcards and scenes in the back I mean this could be a travel journal as well and um, here is a, here's a lady, and they get a little bit close up on that. There's some vintage lace at the side, and there's some journal cards up here, painting. So when I think of Paris, I, I think of the arts, I think of flowers, beautiful wide um, streets, the uh, architecture, more of that wallpaper. And 
Here is another journaling spot, or it could be a bookmark, you know, whichever you would like that to be. Lots of tea stained and digital prints in here, both. This is like a little newspaper or bookstore type of thing. So I made a, I got a couple of reproductions of newspapers here. From, so cute. And then uh, here I made up a, like a little magazine or tabloid you might get. More spaces for journaling inside there. Just stuck that right over there. Try to pick up that kind of that purpley blue more of that wallpaper this actually says letters from my windmill and that's another page from that uh, french language book i vintage book i have and so i have a couple postcards in here and i have this faux envelope with another place to do journaling inside there and a windmill Painted in France there. Another little chateau. This is, uh, I think Bastille Day takes place in this area. And they go through the Arc of uh, Triumph on their way there or something. I think I read something like that. So kind of combine those two things together. There's another belly band with Notre Dame in the background. Another drawing card. And coming down, there's another seat. down to the end here's um this is the uh, opera house this uh forgot the official name of it so sorry but it's where the story uh the phantom the opera kind of like originated from so i felt like you know she looks like she's on her way to an opera right <laughs> and over here then is a another journaling card with a paris scene on it yeah. Coming here to the end. Uh, here's another one of those theaters. And this one was known for melodramas. And I thought, well, she looks like she could be on stage there. A little bit of lace on the side of it. Drawing card. But it sticks right in there. And another pocket here at the back of it. So that is the tour of this project. It was such a pleasure to work with these prints. I hope that you'll go check out Caroline's um, shop and uh, and see about all the other things that she offers over there. Anyway, so thank you so much for viewing. And this will be available in my Etsy shop if you're interested. And we will see you next time. Bye!